There is one more type of control that I want to share with you that we'll be using, and those, these are called frames. So frames allow us to cosmetically group objects together, and also within, they're particularly important with regard to option buttons, because I could have two or more sets of option buttons, and if I want the user to make a choice from each of those questions, I need to group the option buttons inside a frame. So if the option buttons are dragged inside the frame, the user can make a choice for that option button. If I have, let's say, six option buttons on the form, the user can make only choose one of those six. But if I put two sets of three, so three were inside one frame and the other three were in a second frame, I can make a choice from both frames. Again, only one choice within the frame itself, but it primarily serves to keep our option buttons from conflicting. But we'll also see I use it as a design strategy to make the form look a bit more polished and also to be able to change the caption of the frame so I can provide instructions to the user in that space there. It saves me from having to add labels sometimes and having to kind of move things around. So it tends to be a way that I can kind of streamline my form. To create a frame here, since I want to, I want to add a frame, I'm going to make my form a bit bigger here. So the frame shows up on the second row. We can click frame and click here. And so with that frame, notice it's too wide to fit. So I need to kind of drag it over and I'll resize it here. And so a frame can also be thought of as a sub canvas for our form because notice these two are presently on the, the base level of the, of the form, but I can also drag them inside the frame, which then means if I move the frame, I'm moving those buttons there as well. So I want to illustrate the distinction between our option buttons here. So we're going to add a couple more option buttons. And so what we'll do is we will display our form. So notice I can choose either of these option buttons here. Down here I can only choose one of these because these are all in separate they're not confined by a group there, so they're, they're more at the form level. So we'll click Cancel. Actually, we didn't put any code there, so our Cancel doesn't, button doesn't do anything yet. We'll click the Close button up here. We'll add another frame. So here is our frame. If necessary, we can grab the size. Now, notice another thing that I can do here. If I want to resize this frame, if I click on this frame, if I look over here in the Properties, there's a width, so it says it's 126 points wide. So I can click here on this one and make it be 126 as well. So I've matched that width. Now, if I want to align these on the form there, I can go back and see what the left property is. So this one is 144 points from the left. So we'll come along over here and we'll change this to 144. And so now it fits right in that space there. So if I drag these option buttons into this frame, then we'll also add one more frame. And again, here we will change, so the left is 144. The width will make it 126. And then the height, if I want to make the height identical, there is a height. So if we scroll up, 72. So the first one, the height is... 66, so we'll click on this frame, make it 66 also. Notice we can move these up within here. Click on this frame, change its height to 66, and we can then take these option buttons and drag them in there. So then what we'll find is now we have three separate questions if we chose. So you can make a choice from frame one, frame two, and frame three. They no longer are aware of each other because they are bound by the frame.